I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game that we say I need a break Beginning of the trail to the campgrounds at Poison Spring. What I want, I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. So we have arrived at the Poison Spring State Forest and WMA area. In 1957, the Arkansas Forestry Division purchased approximately 19,400 acres of abandoned farmland from the USDA. Today, Poison Springs State Forest includes 23,506 acres in western Washita and eastern Nevada counties. Poison Springs State Forest got its name from a nearby spring of the same name and is the site of a significant Civil War battle. The Battle of Poison Springs in April 19, 1864 was a convincing victory for the Confederates, forcing the retreat of the Union forces north. The forest proved to be an asset to Confederates, and trouble for the Union soldiers who had difficulty maneuvering to the thick pine stands. Arkansas Forestry Division manages the state forest for multiple uses. Poison Springs State Forest is used for demonstration of good forest management practices, timber production, recreation, water quality protection, research, and wildlife habitat. Hunting is one of the major recreation areas at Poison Springs. Each year, more than 350 camping permits are issued to visitors. The state forest has more than 90 primitive campsites that can be reserved at no charge for up to two weeks at a time. The property is designated as Wildlife Management Area by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, and visitors must follow all Arkansas Game and Fish Commission hunting and fishing regulations. Public fishing is available at Wide Oak Lake, a 2,000-acre man-made Game and Fish Commission lake that joins the state forest. Visitors also find horse trails and firing range. The horse trails open from June 1st to September 30th. And February 1st through March 31st, the firing range is open year round. All services are free to the public. Camping is by permit only. Permits are issued on the first come, first served basis. Vehicle travel is restricted to existing trails and roads. No permanent or semi-permanent structures, deer stands, lean-tos, etc. are authorized. Temporary facilities erected for the duration of the two-week permit are allowed. No tree may be severed, damaged, or destroyed. Campfires must be kept under control. Camping debris must be removed when leaving the campsite. Posting of Poison Springs property is prohibited. Violation of the following general restrictions may result in Revocation of the camping permit, excessive consumption of alcohol beverages, use of illegal drug, drugs, public endangerment with a firearm, or violations. The permit holder is subject to all application state, federal game, and firearm laws and restrictions. For more information or to reserve a campsite, you can call Poison Springs State Forest Office at 870-836-5882. You can get a Poison Springs State Forest use permit to do your camping online. It is free. Uh, I normally print it out. That way I have it with me. Uh, download it to your phone. See if you have a copy on your phone. But it is free. You just fill it out. You know, you're know, you going to sign it and you're going to date the date that you're there. And then you have you know X amount of days after that date. But you want to keep that permit with you while you are camping in this area. I will include a link where you will go to get the permit to camp in Poison Springs WMA in the description of this video. I also included a link in the previous video in the description. So you won't have any problem finding where to go to get your permit. There are three sections before this section of this route. The first section is Falcon Bottoms Back Roads. It'll be the first video that I posted on this route. And it starts off Highway 82, and then you're going to hit three more, oh, about 16, 18 mile sections, 
and then you'll come to this Poison Springs section. And this is where you will find campgrounds and set up camp. At least this is my plan. I would hit the first four sections here and uh, go ahead and set up camp here and have a good time, explore the area. There is already another trail up on Onyx. It also heads to a awesome campsite right on Lakeside of White Oak. Uh, White Oak State Park is just down the road, so that's another area to go explore while you're right here in this area. So set up your camp. If you have time left, you know, get out and drive the, the back roads right here in this area and go check out the state park. Go ahead and get up the next morning and continue on down the route. This route will end at a pretty cool cemetery that you're going to want to check out. I will warn you ahead of time, the road that you have to take to get to this uh, cemetery will end up being a dead end. There's a cable across the road, so you're going to have to turn around and come back out. So once you get to the cemetery, instead of going on down the road, just go ahead and turn out where you're going to park. Uh, this road is going to be nasty if it's rained or after right after a rain so I really recommend not even attempting to go down the road uh, unless conditions are somewhat dry that way you don't mess the road up and remember always proceed with tread lightly rules after you walk around the cemetery and check it out this trail will end here you will have to backtrack and go on down the road Well, I will have the next section of trail uploaded and sent in to Onyx so you can continue the route because all of these sections are going to make up this overland route and there is a lot more to come so stay tuned be sure to subscribe so you know when other videos are uploaded about this and if you have any questions, you can get a hold of me uh, and be sure to comment, like, and share so YouTube gets our videos put out in front of people and uh, help our channel grow. Thank you all. Enjoy the video.
is one of the camp areas along this route that we stopped to check out. In the area we're at right now, there's actually several campsites. Now on the WMAs, you need to get online and find out which WMAs, like I think this is Poison Springs, and you have to print out their little uh, permit and sign it and date it, which is no big deal, and you can camp here. And if you see by the Jeep on that tree right there, it won't let me uh, zoom in because I'm dual recording, but this is campsite number three. And this is in the Poison Springs area. And this is how we came in. And there's another way out right there. But we're going to continue on our way.
Okay, we have another campsite. G19-1. Nice open area. Big enough for several to set up. And group camp. It's a road that goes on up. And then the main, more main road is on over here. And we are continuing on.
we made it to Poor Four Cemetery? Poor Four, how? Here, you say it. Fearfully. Cemetery. Now this is a pretty bad road. If it's raining or wet, you're not going to want to come down it. But this is the cemetery. Well, I have to get her to hold the. There we go. We're just gonna walk up in here real quick. Don't keep party on that. Uh -uh. Look, babe. I was think so. Out in the middle of nowhere. Sure, at one time there's some riding on those, unless they're on the other side, because I'm not seeing any. Here's some riding on this one, 1905. Okay, here's the gate side to this, so here's the riding. 19, 19, I mean 1915. This one's 1853 to 1912. 1815 to 1817. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time here because we got lots to do, but we'll try to cover some of it. Here's the 1870 to 1876. Uh, that one's so messed up. 1899. Eighteen ninety. This one back here looks like a newer one. It may just be a marker for the cemetery. Name of the cemetery. Well, I guess people that this cemetery is named after. Maybe family owned. Pretty cool. I love these old cemeteries. Nineteen oh one to eighteen ninety three. Eighteen was that eighty? I can't tell. Well, let's check out this side and then we're going to go ahead and get in the Jeep and go on down the trail. These pretty white flyers on these bushes.
All right, with this one, I think we will head on out. I gotta say, coming to this cemetery is probably one of the sandiest uh, sea mud holes. And let's say if it's raining or it's uh, rain like the day before, so you're probably gonna want to avoid this road. We'll talk to you later. This is Poison Spring State Park, okay? You see what's ahead of us? We're going to see what happens. What's ahead? Okay, we made it through that first water puddle, then we made it through another mud puddle, and it was glad, we was glad we had four wheel traffic. I'll put it that way. No idea where this goes, it's supposed to go through. I don't know if it will or not, but we shall see. I'm gonna catch the wrist with the dash.
see we're still losing water after coming through that water puddle. So we're up to, this would be the third bad spot. And that second spot we went to was pretty bad. I see deer print down here. It's a lot of sand. This just keeps getting worse and worse. So I may just turn around and go back the way we came since we're here by ourselves. And the map says this goes through, but it may not. I'm seeing hunting club signs. So I don't know that this is actually park anymore. Yeah, it's not traveled, so we're going to try and go back. And I need to do some more research. That little stone up there said uh, it was a park. But I'm thinking that these paint on the trees is hunting club. And that over there says it's hunting. So I don't know that we're even supposed to be in here. But I walked across right here and uh, I sunk in. It's really soft. Now, if I get stuck, I would have to winch out backwards. So instead, you can see where I walked right there. I think we can make it, but we're not gonna chance it. Especially with me not knowing for sure if this is legal land or not. After seeing those hunting signs, you know, I'm thinking that this may be private now. So, we're going to turn around and go the other way.